Welcome to the Toronto Rehab Institute, an international leader in getting injured Canadians back on their feet. But today, we are underground, four stories below the surface, where lies a $36 million facility designed to save Canadians before they get hurt. This week, the Mercer Report takes one clumsy step for man, one giant clumsy step for mankind. And this is Dr. Jeff Fernie, Director of Research. Hello, Jeff. How are you? Hello, Rick. Good to see you, Dr. Jeff. Okay, sir. Okay, we are here at the rehab facility. You guys do great work helping people out when they're hurt. But what are you doing down here? Well, down here, we're trying to prevent them from ever getting hurt. This is all about prevention. Absolutely. This is serious science. This is serious science. And like stuff. so much serious science, it's happening underground in Canada these days. <laughs> yeah, it's very much underground. So you put human beings in these pods, and you attach them to a hydraulic lift, and you kind of shake them around and see how they react. Yeah, it's not quite as entertaining as that. Usually what we're trying to do is we're trying to develop something that will stop them getting into trouble, like right. better footwear that won't slip in in the winter. Okay. In that case, we might not even shake them at all. We might just have a nice snow-covered surface, and we might just tip it and see at what angle they start to slip. This is interesting because this is a perfect example of like science that's very practical for all of us because we all walk up and down stairs. We all have to go out and maneuver through ice and snow and all that business. Yeah, we do very practical stuff. Hello, Jennifer. Hi, How nice are you? To meet you? So you study shoes. I do. Okay. What what is the issue? So we're looking for footwear that keeps you from slipping and falling in winter conditions. I would think there must be a lot of that. From what we've seen, nothing really seems to work in all the different conditions in Toronto. Is the transition when you go from one to another, is that the danger point? That's dangerous. So say you're a senator and you're walking down the street and someone wants to ask you a question, and then you're running, and then you go inside and you got to run through a kitchen. Then you got to go outside, and then you're on the concrete. Like three different kinds yep, of situations. Yeah, and then you hit ice or you hit a small ramp. And if Duffy goes down, he ain't getting up. <laughs> okay. Now, for the purposes of this exercise, I will risk life and limb Quick change. I put my street shoes on. Wouldn't be Tuesday if it wasn't in the harness. <laughs> this is pretty high tech. I need a job. What's my name? Fred. Fred. OK, I'm Fred, and I deliver. Okay. You deliver balls. I'm a delivery man. <laughs> Can you use some help there? No, I'm good. All right, cool. Fred don't need help. Sometimes if you're distracted, you don't notice the patch of ice you're about to hit. What? <laughs> well, thanks for showing me your, uh, your, um, your little torture chamber here. I enjoyed it. That was great. Safety first. <laughs> and this is Alison Novak, and we are now standing outside of Stair Lab. Hello, Allison. How are you? Very nice. Nice to Meet see you. you. So you think you can design a better staircase? Yes, we do. A better wheel, as it were. A safer wheel. A safer, better wheel. Is this the stairs of the future? Like this? We tilt the whole room 20 degrees. Then these stairs become appropriately tilted. The very sophisticated harness system that you'll get put into. Okay. And that allows us to robotically track you as you walk up and down stairs. Do you put old ladies in here and hook yeah. them up to the harness? Yeah, why not? Really? Absolutely. And then and throw them off the stairs? Yep. It's very safe. So we've tilted stair lab and the stairs are now normal. We can look at you as you walk up and down the stairs. We can use very sophisticated tracking. You're judging me. <laughs> You're judging me while I walk up and down the stairs. Look at Buddy on the stairs, look. <laughs> look at Buddy, look. Look at the way he walks. So what we're going to have you do is just walk continuously up and down the stairs, and we're going to give you an unexpected, per what we call a perturbation, so an unexpected shake of this room. That would have hurt. You lost some cash. I lost $10? One of our studies looks at how we should design a handrail. Did I reach for the handrail? No, you didn't on I that I didn't? One. You did not reach for the handrail. Does that show that I'm mentally deficient or something? <laughs> Who's one down? I can't hear you! What? Who's on the... Damn, I'll come up! Okay, hang on! That would be bad. That would be bad. Now, what about walking down the stairs with something? Is that... 
Is that, does that increase the danger? It does. We tend to hold tighter onto something when we- As if that's gonna save us. As if that's gonna right? save you. Your bucket of chicken or whatever. That's gonna save you, your bucket of chicken won't save you. Another issue when you walk up and down the stairs, is the use of high heels. Shoes are a very particular hazard when you walk up and down the stairs. Not for this man. <laughs> oh, why, hello, welcome to my home. <laughs> oh, these, just a little thing I threw on. Come in, please, please. <laughs> Thank you. At the Toronto Rehab Institute, the most fun I've had falling down the stairs in a long time. Are you a size nine?